Hello and welcome to WP Easy Card. In this quick video tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to create your first product. Uh, this is usually the first step customers would like to do after they've uh, walked through our installation. Uh, the five minute installation gets you up and running and to this current point. And so let's talk about installing a, a new product. Uh, so, what we're going to do uh, is take a look at the products panel. You can see I'm already there. Uh, I've already installed the demo data. Again, if you'd like to install some sample products into EasyCart, you can do that by going to Settings and Initial Setup, and you can install uh, demo data. And what that does is put in uh, a dozen products or so here for you to look at. Uh, let's take a look at the existing products first. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this coat. And you can see when you open up products, you get some basic information like the title, uh, the SKU or model number, the manufacturer, the price, and the description. This information is kind of the basics that you need for every product. Uh, as you scroll down, you'll notice we have a lot of different panels. And a lot of this is optional. Uh, but this is a bulk of EasyCart. You can really customize and leverage the products to do a lot of things. That doesn't mean you need to necessarily go into every one of these sections, uh, but it is nice to know that you do have the ability to expand on your products. Uh, you can see this existing product here has all that information filled in. If I open up the images, you can see we have a couple of images pricing options, option sets, some basic settings. You can see there's a lot of different configurations you can have in here for shipping, taxes, specifications, downloadable products, subscriptions, uh, category locations, uh, a lot of good a lot of good things in here but again that doesn't necessarily mean you need to go into all of them okay and if at any point you want to view the product you can click on view product and it takes you out to the screen on the store again this is what the customers would see and it gives you a good idea of uh, flipping back and forth what you'd like to do uh, in terms of customizing and making that look Okay, so let's go back to products and let's add a new product. So I click on add new and I'll just call this my custom product and I'll just give it a random SKU. You can pick a manufacturer. This is good for categorizing things later on. If you only have one or your business, it's fine just to have one manufacturer. I'll give this a price at $24.95 and we'll just say this is a sample product. And you can see none of the sections below are there. Uh, we need to first create the product and once we create it then all of the other options open up. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this uh, a product image. So we can upload an image uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these existing in my media library or you could upload new images and you can see it shows up there and I'm going to go ahead oops I forgot to save I'm going to go ahead and update the images it's important on all these panels to make sure that you click the update <laughs> sometimes I forget to do that and we'll click on view this product and you can see I have a basic product running now in my store. And this is a custom URL. You could send that out to people if you wanted to. Okay, from here it's really about customizing. Uh, that's really all it takes to create a new product. But if we want to customize this, we certainly could. Um, for example, under basic settings, um, you can have this in special widgets or are you going to allow customer reviews maybe I want customers to be able to review this so I'm going to update this and then I'm going to flip over to my product and you can see it now I have this customer review panel
show up. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to have option sets, uh, option sets are right here. I can have uh, up to five basic options or I can click on use advanced options and I can add as many advanced options as I wanted. Okay, but maybe I wanted to add shirt sizes to it. I can go ahead and add that and I'm going to go ahead and update this and when we take and refresh our product we can see now I have select shirt size and the option. So that's all there is to creating products. Um, we're not going to go through every one of these panels. What I would recommend you do if you had questions is utilize this little button right here. It's a little information button and if you click on it it takes you to our product documentation uh, and what we've done is we've gone through and tried to document every single panel. Uh, you can get a description of what they do and how they work. Uh, we really recommend you go through all of those different um, help screens if you have questions because they can typically answer more questions than we can we can write in an email and we tried to put those little help icons all over uh, so if you ever see a little panel with a little help icon right here this little gray guy uh, make sure you click on it and check it out any questions uh, again let us know if you have any problems uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video